All right, we are back. Peanut Gallery, take it away. All right, so um, if you've heard the news, supposedly Tony Khan has indicated and various other wrestlers have indicated that the show that is set for London, All In, at Wembley Stadium, has already sold 60,000 seats. And I tried to look up a seating map. Um, I went to the website of the, the, of the stadium. I went to Ticketmaster's website. I couldn't get an image generated myself. Exactly. But we supposedly have images that were a part of the stadium seating map, uh, supposed seats that have been sold out. So these are just some of the pictures. These come from WrestleTix. Which tend to be a little more, you know, they they're pretty reliable when yep. it comes to, and and they're very, you know, they're pretty reliable when it comes to that kind of stuff. They're also, uh, you know, a little more unbiased maybe than others. I think, well, you know, them them and WrestleNomics are like literally the only places that I'll go to for any sort of wrestling news or accurate information. Right, they're so the only ones these, that I can trust. These pictures come straight from WrestleTix, and. I'm there's something so off about it and, because and the issue is that they took it down. Well, I don't know if they took it. I don't know if it was taken down or if it was just not generated because my computer was being stupid. I didn't see. I mean, I couldn't find it either. I even looked myself and I could not find this. Something else is going on here. And I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to sit here and say definitively that AEW is lying about it. But there right. is just some... The the history of their ticket sales in the past and what we have seen here in America, even for bigger stadiums, is just – it's fishy to me. Something here is fishy to me, hmm. and especially because they can't get these things up. Why? Why won't Tony Khan and them actually show us proof that it's sold out Right. instead of just saying it? Right. How about you show us? Because it's And see, that's what I was trying to look for. I was trying to approach it with a pinch of salt and say, hey, where's the, where are the pictures? Where's the proof? Where's the pudding and all this? Um, obviously, because they just opened up the top bowl um, for this event, a lot of the upper bowl seats are yet to be filled. Um, but I again, I also looked at the website, uh, the Wembley Stadium's website, and I was looking at a seating map of how they do their ticketing tiers. Um, and you can find tickets for all of those. Uh, they, they all match up with what they are selling. So it leaves me to believe that there is some element of truth to all of this. That's just what I'm inferring from the little bit of research I was able to do. I w could not find a ticketing map, but I did find the tiers and the tier the price levels are behind Tiger Heights. Head. Right. And and I was able to select Are these are these are these are those prices accurate? Yes, they are. Okay. Yes. So I saw this earlier too yeah. by the way. I saw this before even the pre-sale happened. Yeah. So this is how Wembley Stadium does their ticketing. They do it based off of those tier levels and you are able to select tickets from all of those tier levels. Had the upper bowl not been opened, I don't think you would have been able to get the the P7 or P8 or P9 or, or whatever those upper bowl tickets are. Yeah, P8, P9. Yeah. I, but once again, here is my issue, is that this is just general information regarding the tickets. Well, right. So I want, I, what I wanted to see and what I have not been able to find myself – now, I could just be ignorant about it because I don't generally get stuff on Ticketmaster a whole mm. lot, but – it, I just could not find accurate information regarding the mapping I couldn't, I couldn't, and, and availability. Right. I couldn't find availability. Yeah, it's well because Wembley Stadium's website is garbage. It so. is. Well, <laughs> all, all the all the .co UK crap. It's a bunch of nonsense. Yeah. I've I've tried to order stuff on there and it's a mess. People, you all know it. England's website stuff is very strange. Yeah. So, um, anyways, it leaves me to believe that there is a more to come of truth to it between WrestleTix. Um, you know, pictures and Wembley Stadium's structure and how I know that all of these seating arrangements are open, it leaves me to at least give them the benefit of the doubt. I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt, but once again, I'm looking at track record and the fact that when everybody is saying that it has been sold out without giving me supporting evidence to that theory, yeah. 
It just doesn't make sense right. to me. And don't say, oh, don't go to Mel go to Meltzer. I'm not going to go to them because right. they are not. They are not factual. Right. They have been called out with their crap a bunch of times, and no place that I have deemed credible has shown me evidence to the contrary right. of like, my suspicion. Like, like I said, the only the only thing that that I have found was pictures provided by WrestleTix, and even then, WrestleTix said this is an enormous grain of salt, and it's like, okay, right. that's, that's fine that you have pictures because we of this, but right. what about live mapping? Because that will give me definitive. Right, and, and again, if the website was working, I'm sure we could find it. I'm sure we could have. I don't know. I mean, I'm not going to go and search for it because that would take, number one, way too much time, yep. um, and I wouldn't have uh, been able to anyway. But uh, it's it's just something that I am pointing out of questioning mm -hmm. of why haven't they shown us the seatings right, well, of the mapping? Why, where is the evidence there? And it's like, well, what about WWE? WWE has to by law. AEW doesn't. AEW is a private company. Right. They, can, they can say that they made a billion dollars right. last year. It right. may not be accurate, but they don't have to show you a damn thing. Right. And again, ticketing websites in the UK are unreliable, unlike here in the US where Ticketmaster actually does a pretty good job with providing you with those maps before beforehand, you know, while you're looking up tickets. Right. Because they're not selling it on Ticketmaster. They're selling it on UK's website or whatever they're doing. And I was not able to look at a live map without actually going through. And I actually went through the process of selecting the tickets, but I didn't provide me a map. And that is the issue. It's like, well, what about the seats there? It's like, no, well, no, that's not what we're trying to find. We're trying to find how the seating arrangement corresponds with ticket sales. Mm -hmm. Because they could claim that there were 60,000, but they literally could have stopped all ticket sales at 70. Right. And it's like, that's not a sellout arena then. Because right. Wembley, with the floor seats, without the floor even seats 90,000 people. Mm -hmm. So... It's like how much of that is accurate. And right. I went back to um, TNA running a show in the Alamo Dome um, in like 2007. Yeah. But the thing is that they only carted out like one-seventh of the place, right. but they still sold out the allotted area. Did they sell out Alamo Dome? Right. No. And with AEW in the same circumstance, if they tarp off 30,000 seats, did they really sell out Wembley? Right. No. So – I'm hoping that they're accurate because I think it would be cool to see yeah. AEW sell out a stadium like this and maybe even try to do that same thing here in America. Right. I, I and, doubt and, that they and, will and, because they can't fucking right. sell an arena. And, and now what I'm seeing too is that and, – and again, this could all just be cor corroborating evidence. But I was able to get tickets for all of the tiers that were listed – that are listed right behind you. So right. it leads me to believe that at the very least all of the – all of the tiers are open. So okay. that part, we can probably say, okay, that makes sense. Right. So that's kind of where I'm at with this. You know, again, it's just one of those things where you just have to take everything with a pinch of salt because right. there, there's not enough evidence for me to definitively say. Also, also we're, not, we're not being haters by asking these questions. These are valid questions yeah. that – the supports and what the wrestlers and what Tony Khan have said online without yeah. any supporting evidence is leading to. Right. I'm I'm just saying I want to see the evidence. I want to see this. I want to see a, a live map of the stadium. Right. Or with, with the seats that right. are available. I have a couple of pictures from WrestleTix, but, but they, once again, they're not they're not giving us the whole stadium. Right. Where's exactly. The entire stadium. Exactly. It just doesn't make any sense to me, and it just leads me to questioning further about the accuracy of the numbers that we have been right. given. And, you know, it, it's, that's just kind of where I, I think, am. I think it just goes to show that you can't – you have to do research. This is very simple stuff. It <laughs> how long did it take you to get this, and how long did it take you to get to the website for, um, for the live mapping? It takes you not even five minutes right. to do this. So if you're sitting there blindly accepting that these numbers are accurate, you're an idiot. If you're blindly going to say that that's wrong, you're also an idiot. Mm -hmm. You need to ask questions and say, hey, I want to make sure that these are accurate numbers. I did the same thing with WrestleMania when yeah. they sold out 100,000 seats for both nights. I want to make sure that that was accurate, and it was because mm -hmm. it was easy to find. But that's just kind of where I am. I'm hoping that All In does sell out because I think it would be really cool. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, these things are just putting up some red flags yeah, for me. Yeah, they are. So but 
Um, you know, again, it's it's an impressive feat to try and do a show at Wembley. And and from what I could see, I was able to find tickets in all the tiers that were listed, that are listed in this color coded map. So, um, you know, have they sold? Have they have they sold sixty thousand tickets? I don't know, but at least the stadium is wide open. So. Right. <laughs> Great. All right. Awesome. So when we come back, I'm gonna get back on my soapbox.